the best person is not supposed to win. That's not what it's about. If it was about the best technique, there'd be a kata competition, and then we analyze the technique and we give out the medal at the end. No, the, somebody who has less technique than another person should be able to win in sport because it's a sport. That, that means a person who is not as good should be able to win. How? Because there's a lot of ways to win a judo match. You cannot get better by solely doing randori. Let me say that again. You cannot get better by solely doing randori. Randori does not fall under the umbrella of deliberate practice. It does not. Thank you. Thank you for saying this. Thank you. You can go do, in the old school, we did 15 randoris a night. Who gives a shit? Who cares? What? Where's the feedback during the round? Where's the feedback? Of the, so let me tell you something. You're going to get more from a practice. Okay, I'm, this is an example. I do stuff like this too, but I'm going to use an example because I really like this brother. Darcel Yancey, okay? Darcel Yancey does deliberate practice two or three things for three or four days five six hours at a time over and over and over and over and over again under under his eye and with feedback deliberate practice requires inter-observer re reliability and and it requires feedback if you don't have any feedback you it's you what you're doing is you're doing I say this and I don't want it to be off-putting, but it, you're doing what's called judo masturbation. It feels great, but the yield is zero. There's, there's no fruit being produced. Nothing's going to be produced from what you're doing. You're just having a great time. And that's okay. But without the deliberate practice, there is no fruit being produced. Now, here's the thing. Everybody doesn't know how to practice deliberately. Just because you're doing reps on a crash pad, that's not deliberate practice. Here's how, here's an option for deliberate practice. So I have an app on my phone that provides video delay. On the video delay, I set up the, the tripod, video delay, hook the, the um, HDMI cord into the te television, put the video delay at seven to 10 seconds. Somebody does a throw, boom. Then we look at the video. I said, no, so-and-so, so-and-so's off. Look, you see? Yeah, okay, boom. Next throw, boom. Because I need to give not only not only audio feedback, but it's called, you want biofeedback. So you want, I want that person to also see visual biofeedback. I want you to also see what I'm saying so that every rep is now getting better and getting refined because you're looking at every rep. It is hard. It is boring. You feel like you can't do anything right, but that's deliberate practice. And then you take those sessions and you put them back into the Randori session. R R randori is great, man. Randori is great if you want to get good at doing randori. You do randori to get good at randori. Case in point, let's take Nick Yaneska's video. Nick Yaneska, okay, had complaints, which were valid. I'm not saying her, his complaints were valid, all right? What I'm saying is, those things that he's complaining about, he could have used those same things to win had he created deliberate practice opportunities in those situations. Sometimes you got, sometimes your whole practice has to be on putting your, your, your opponent, your, your, your student in the corner. And the whole practice is you can't get pushed out and you can't get scored on. Man, that's, that's difficult. Starting in the corner, Hajime, can't get pushed out. So you're like uh, you're saying is like a thematic or a, based on a particular theme. One hundred percent. Yeah, you know something. I I was doing a lot of work this uh, before the Olympics. It was just there was before the regular session. There's a two-hour technique. So you just come. Of course, everyone has their own uh, partner or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I would just come there and I would work. He's a, he's an Olympian. He participated in uh, Beijing. Um, 
London and Rio. His name is Jan Sicardi. Uh, and uh, we would just work. That's it. That's all we do. Work, assess. Then he says, try it again. And you can feel, and then you come to a point where you feel where you, you are going wrong, where you're off, how your body weight is di distributed, uh, you're, you're, work, you're working without your hands maybe, or your hands are a little bit late compared to your, uh, to your hips, or your, your butt is way back. These little things, and I, every time I finish, I feel like saying, man, I just want a lot of sessions where Randori is not the aim or is not you know, the, at the forefront. I just want to work because otherwise, and he's, he's telling me every single time, there should be sessions where all you do is nagekomi, uchikomi, even just how to enter properly. A lot of us, we don't do this. We're just so centered around competition classes and how many rounds we can get. And in. uchikomi, uchikomi, it's not deliberate practice without the feedback. You can't, I don't care how beautiful your uchikomi looks. It doesn't matter, refining your uchikomi. Here's the problem with Uchikomi, and I've said this several times, okay? The problem with Uchikomi and why I do not do a lot of them early, I use throwing dummies, is because it creates a neural pathway to come in and come back out, come in and come back out, and come in and come back out. What's the main thing every coach from the chair is screaming to their kids when they fight? Finish. All the way through. Don't come back out. Right, but you have you have thousands of reps of in and out and in and out and in and out and in and out. It's just normal for them to come in and then go back out. When you use the throwing dummy, they're just going in. And then they're rotating completely for Nagikomi. Somebody said, well, the dummy is not like a, 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 a person. Yeah, and a person standing still ain't like no person that you're fighting. None of it is the is the and Randori is not like Shiai. So none of it is right. So, so what's the complaint? What I'm concerned about at the beginning are the four pillars of human movement, push-pull, level change, locomotion, and rotation. I need them to understand Sugiyashi and Ayumiyashi, how to move on the mat, OK? How to move. The locomotion, the locomotion of judo, OK? I need, to, I need them to understand the kumikata, the pushing and the pulling part of the judo process, all right? I need them to understand how to change levels. When I step, how to bend my knee for the uchimata. When I step, how to squat down for the for the seo nagi. How to, that's it. And then I need the rotation, how to finish, the kake of the movement, the full rotation of the movement, doing nagi komi, doing makakomi movements all the way all the way all the way to the mat.